Dave Smith here, DJS Photography. Uh, this will be the first of a series of uh, videos to show my black and white conversion. Uh, I've completely changed the way that I post process all images uh, now. Uh, I make much more use of uh, masks and selections and masks from selections uh, and also luminosity mask selections. So there's, uh, there's quite a lot to talk about uh, and in particular I've applied this technique to my black and white conversions and I am much much happier with those conversions. So I thought it would be uh, helpful to share some of those techniques and um, uh, I'm not going to do it all in one video that would be huge. So I'm going to do a, a series of videos and this first video is just about uh, making the selection masks. So we've got our image up open in front of us. This was shot uh, uh, at the top of the mountain behind uh, Narvik in northern Norway. It was shot during my massive two and a half thousand miles tour of Scandinavia last summer. Uh, and I'd gone up uh, part way on the cable car and then continued uh, through the uh, through the hillside up towards the summit and I'm just a little ways under the summit of this uh, mountain here looking over to this range that you see has been shot. Uh, and as a look at this image uh, I see five distinct areas and uh, I think you can probably see if I uh, turn on my zoom and go over here I'm in the channels palette here I've uh, separated out my uh, layers and channels palettes um, just because I, I tend to use both very frequently. Uh, so this is my channels palette and um, you can see I've got my RGB selected, that's the standard view and these are the four standard channels that your image will open. But you can see I've got four more uh, and these are all selections and uh, I've named them uh, to, to make, make them make sense. So just before we get into these let's go back to our image and uh, have a little look at, uh, at what we've got here now uh, I see five distinct uh, regions in this image right? there is this uh, sort of main area of the sky here uh, which I've labeled in my channels palette just sky and I see this in my mind as going very dark at the top here right black picking out these wispy clouds with um, with a um, a contrast selection okay so, so my aim is to get uh, all of this top area very dark fading out to a lighter uh, gray down here but all of this getting picked out with a, a contrast selection so that's that's what I've called the sky and then you can see I've got a selection at the top there called main clouds now that's all this stuff here and I want to treat this differently to the rest of the sky because in my mind what this is uh, suggesting or suggestive of to me is, uh, is are the white horses of the Carmarg uh, sort of uh, stampeding through the surf uh, I know that's kind of a little romantic uh, but that, that's what it says to me coming over this hillside it's a bit like uh, if we stick with the stallion theme maybe something like the four horsemen of the apocalypse coming across the horizon uh, so I, I want to I want to really bring out the drama of these clouds and as they are they're looking pretty dramatic um, but I want to make sure we maintain that in the conversion so I'm going to treat those separately and then we've got this uh, w really well sculpted area of mountain here you can really feel the, the these little corries here you can sort of f have a sense of the glaciers moving down um, sort of in these directions uh, over here uh, over to the right is the uh, is the main fjord so you, you you can imagine the small glaciers here feeding into a massive glacier in the field and this is a well sculpted mountain here and I want to I want to make sure that I get good tonal separation between that mountain and these hills uh, in the middle foreground here and then we've got this uh, this little bit of uh, hillside in the near uh, foreground uh, all of which conspires to give depth throughout the image so I want to get good tonal separation in there so I see five distinct areas in this image now if we go back to um, 
if we go back to our channels palette, you can see I've only got four. Okay, so I made the first four selections already, um, but I've left this fourth one um, so that you can see uh, what to do. And as you see my cursor moving here, uh, that's the cursor for, let's go to the tools palette over here, the uh, quick selection tool right there. Uh, and, I, and I'm going to uh, start this series by showing you uh, how I make selections. Now, uh, there are two main ways that I make selections. There are always a gajillion ways to make selections uh, in uh, Photoshop, a gajillion ways to do anything in Photoshop. But there are two main ways that I use, and I'm going to show you the uh, quick selection uh, brush uh, for this image. And I have another image lined up um, for, for conversion as well. And I'm going to show you the pen tool with uh, that image. Now the pen tool is, is not a well understood tool in Photoshop uh, in my view. Uh, and so I think it might be uh, useful to see that because I have a, a method of using it that's, uh, that's really quick and easy. So let's, uh, let's get started with this. I'm going to make a selection on this set of mountains here. That's the selection that's missing. Uh, I'm using a Wacom Intuos 4 tablet here. So uh, with a better look. This is going to, we just should just be able to drag this across this image and again that all seems to be a bit of a struggle so we might just give it a moment. Okay, I'm not getting anything from that so I'm going to go back to uh, here. Oh, I see the trouble. Okay, so let's go. Sorry, guys. Let's go up here. I'm going to just turn on my zoom uh, tool here. Right, you see you've got three little brushes up here. All right, so you've got a plus and you've got a minus. The minus does what it says, and we'll perhaps be using that in a little while, but I really need to be adding here. So uh, I'm just going to click on that. I'll turn this zoom tool off. Now, with a bit of luck, uh, this should give us. There we go. Uh, you see the marching ants coming uh, in now. I'm going to just take this all the way across down here. We'll let that play out. Okay, so there's uh, there's our initial selection, and uh, you'd be forgiven for suggesting that it's not very good. That doesn't get much of the mountains. But notice that I've still got. Uh, if I go up here, I've still got the the add brush selected. So if I take this cursor and I put it inside, let's not, uh, right, inside here, and just now push out and up, it'll start to uh, expand that uh, selection, and, uh, and it's going to take me a minute or two to, uh, to get all of that, but I'm going to just persevere. Okay, and I push out here. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not liking uh, any of that. Uh, this is all very slow. Uh, I've turned off as much as I can here. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to have another go with this, then I might just switch to the trackpad if I don't like what this is doing. So I've deselected everything, and I'm just going to pull down, and across, down, and across. And this is looking uh, a little better. Just leave it to catch up with me a little. Here we go. Okay, so I'm feeling a little better about that. So just give it a chance to catch up. This is usually a bit quicker than this, but uh, it's obviously having a bit of an off day. I did restart things, but it's uh, it's recording a video, of course, so that's going to slow things up. Now you see, as I put the, uh, I've still got the add brush uh, selected. So as I put that on the inside of the selection, I can push that selection out and along the boundaries that I want to find. And it's actually doing a pretty good job of picking those boundaries up. I've 
missing out a little bit here let me put the zoom key on for you missing a little here and a little up here I'm going to leave those for now and come back to them uh, presently let's leave the zoom key on and I'm just going to push just let that finish whatever it's trying to do okay I'm going to push up a bit more here there we go and so you can see how that's working as you push the keep the add brush there keep the add brush selected and you can just push out and push out put your brush on the inside of the selection let it finish what it's uh, messing on with okay and I'm just going to push up there we go and you see it snaps pretty well that's that's a that's a good selection in there um, so it's snapping pretty well to those boundaries I'm just going to keep going my goodness this is slow okay here we go up to there that's good now we're going to get some uh, trouble as we get into these clouds and I'm going to go back and sort out those other uh, areas in a minute but I think you can pretty easily see how well this is going now that's quite good that's gone right up into the clouds there and that'll give me a chance to show you the other side of things so I'm still on the inside of the selection I'm just gently pushing out to the boundaries now you see that's gone that's gone pretty well around these clouds here and we're all the way here and I've got a little bit of a adding to do right here just push that out to there easy stuff right now in here got a big piece of the uh, sort of corry missing there so we're just gonna same again push that down to that boundary right there gone a little bit over but that's okay we can come back and fix that in a moment just give it a chance and then down here there we go that's good okay now I'm coming along here and this will just take a, a minute or two and then I can show you the finishing touches and we should end up with oops it's a bit far there I've left a bit off here I'll just go back to here boom, boom. okay let's push that into there and this is doing a good job doing it slowly but it is doing a good job let's push out into this region here okay good good All right we're almost we're almost through looking pretty good okay and let's just push this last region down here good good and one more bit to go and then we can tidy up okay good and final bit here okay so this is all looking pretty good okay good okay so uh, if I remember rightly if we go back up here I've got too much selection there but there were some bits along here uh, that's a bit too much selection uh, oh, no 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 there we wanted to just push that out a little more you can see what I'm doing I'm just pushing the cursor along that boundary just to pick out uh, the extent that I want it's just very gentle movements I'm just gonna push to there and then over here just a tiny bit more in here there we go okay so I think that's good. This is all looking uh, pretty good. We've got, oops, getting in its way there. All right, so I want to remove a bit of uh, that cloud area there. Uh, down here, got a little bit of selection to remove there, there, and there. And uh, a little bit got kind of trapped in there we'll get rid of that other than that that all looks pretty good to me right 
So the next bit that we're going to do then, we have some selections to remove. So now we're going to go and pick up this negative brush and that will push every time I touch this down it tries to do something right so now I'm going to push the other way just along that boundary there and that's got that little hump quite nicely I'm getting this one here and I spotted a little over here as well here we go Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay, so let's go in here. You see, just as I move along that boundary, it just snaps to the boundary really, really nicely. This is such a powerful tool. And we're making a pretty complex... Let's just get rid of that. A pretty complex selection here, of course, along those jaggedy mountains quite convinced by that mm, just did a command Z there I think and uh, just hit that again there we go okay that's pushed it back a little too far we'll come back and get that in a minute I've got a little bit not enough there that all looks okay now there was that stuff there hmm. okay kind of messed all that up a bit now there I'll push that back out in a moment okay the other place that we needed to Deselect was over here. Now this will be a little bit more tricky. So that's not too bad. We'll just push that back in a moment. You see why I have chosen this. This is by far the most complex part of the selection. But you see that went round that cloud really well. Okay, so we still have a few little bits to deal with okay I messed that area up there uh, I pushed back too far here and there was something else I spotted as well somewhere along here right in there okay so I'm gonna go back now to the uh, add brush because I want to push these so up here we just went a touch too far with the remove oh that's lovely all right see how easy that is and i just want to push this back down we want to touch too far with the remove here excellent and then all of this is going to get a bit tricky i think but let's just see if we can just gently push that back in I'm just going to take this a little step at a time so if you bear with me this is the last I think little bit of fixing that we need to do along here yes it's all looking pretty good to me uh, it's okay so I'll just take this easy mm -hmm. okay so I've got my edge pretty well there but I've got this little bit of mess in here which I'd really like to try and get rid of let's have a little go at that it's not what I want there we go so now I think oh let's just try that one actually because I think that might be a deselected area let's give it a chance 
I think this little bit here might be deselected. Yeah, there we go. So the trouble with this bit here is I was trying to just erase it, but actually inside that area there is what I want to get rid of is uh, is not selected. So I have to push it away from the outside. Okay, so those are going. I'm just going to persevere a little with. Uh, actually, maybe I won't. What I'll do is call that uh, call that done, and I'll show you another little bit uh, that we can do. Okay, so once we've got our uh, selection, the next thing is to go to uh, select. Oops. Select. Uh, nope. Sorry very uh, sensitive these tablets uh, I want to save selection okay and I'm gonna call this uh, mountains okay and you see that's now come as a selection into my channels palette and I've got all my five selections next thing I'll do is just hit command D because I can get rid of that then I'm going to go uh, into here and you see we've got got this little bit here so if I go to B for brush and uh, let me just show you what's going on so this is the foreground background color the brush will paint with the foreground color so if I change to white on black that's just uh, X to switch those across uh, that's X on the keyboard. I've got a little bit of something there. We might go back and do that in a moment. And uh, I'm just going to reduce the size of the brush. Okay, that's the uh, that's the left square bracket key. And the other thing I'm going to do is increase the uh, opacity right the way up. There we go. And I can just paint out those areas there that I didn't like. And then over here, I've got uh, a funny little thing going on there. I don't know where that came from, but uh, easy to deal with. So X again. So this time I want to paint black. So I'm changing that. And there, that's gone pretty, uh, pretty swiftly and easily. And I might just do uh, a little bit of touching up down here. There we go. Now that looks like a pretty good mask to me. Let me go back to the RGB channels. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, all of our masks, uh, all five. And I'm just going to, uh, just to finish off, I'm just going to show you how we would uh, load up a mask. So what I'm going to do is uh, give myself a a duplicate layer just uh, command J control J on the PC and now if I go back to uh, select uh, select let's get it okay let's uh, turn that off let's put that down go back to the trackpad go to select uh, now we go to load selection and uh, we can if we've got other documents open, we can get masks from other documents by picking them out here. This is the only one we've got open. If I click here, now I can choose any of these. Okay, so if I choose my sky uh, and click OK, there's my sky selection showing. All right, perfect. And dead easy to do. Now, you can see uh, that took us a, a little while to do, partly because um, with the recorder going, it's really slowed the... Uh, slow the MacBook down um, but it's, it is much swifter than that without a recorder going on my machine at any rate um, but it didn't take that long right? when you do that initial selection you don't get everything don't get despondent you pick up let me go get that you pick up the add brush and 
put it on the inside of the selection and you can just push gently push the selection to the boundaries that you want to pick up and it'll get there it'll get those boundaries might take you a little while and we had to do a, just a tiny little bit of touch up down here you remember on the actual mask itself uh, but all in all those are five pretty complex masks and they've um, I, I was able to make all of them in I would guess around 20 minutes half an hour something like that so all the masks are set up when we get to uh, the next bit just deselect that when we get to the next bit of this series we'll start to see how we use those masks uh, to make uh, conversions so I hope that's been uh, of some use and uh, you, you see in particular just how easy uh, selections are so don't be afraid of selections they're easy they're quick and my word they're powerful and if you come back to the next um, the next video you, I, I think you'll start to see just how useful it is to have selections Okay, so that's making selections with the quick selection tool on the Narvik uh, Mountains image uh, from Dave Smith. I hope that's been of some interest and use. Bye for now.